Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com, and today we're going to continue talking about working with the color of skin tone inside of Photoshop. And today it's going to be in an actual illustration. So if I want to tweak the color and try out different variations for this goblin here, a great way to do it is to use the gradient map. But first I'm going to need to have his skin selected. So however you want to do it, draw a selection around the only area you want to modify because we're not doing the entire image. And once you've got that selection made, you can make an adjustment layer called Gradient Map. And all of a sudden it's gonna change color. And you can see it only modified the skin tone. Perfect, okay. Since I'm using this as a adjustment layer instead of as a filter, it is interactive. So I can just play around with it now. So if I click here on my little preview, it opens the Gradient Editor. And at this point, I can choose from any of my gradient presets. So you can see this has a lot of power because of the general principle that skin is going to go through different hues as it goes from light to shadow. Well, that's exactly what this is. Different hues from light to shadow, a gradation. So I've picked this one here because it's got some cool blue shadows and then some warm yellowy skin. But then you can see that the specular glossy highlights on his forehead have a little bit of blueness to them. They're sort of a icy reflective quality. Well, that's because I wanted to reflect some of the cool blue light of the forest. So just like in the previous video, I'm getting these colors from an understanding of how light works. And I might want to even be inspired by some photos from different movies. But when I click OK, I now have remapped this gradient. And that is so awesome because I can hide it and it goes back to the original colors. Once again, because it is an adjustment layer, it allows me to work non-destructively to be interactive. But if you zoom in here, I've lost a little something. You can see the eyes, for instance, are a little yellowy. They kind of blend in with the rest of the skin. Well, I didn't really want it to be that way. No problem. I can click on the thumbnail for the mask, and then I can switch to black and paint away the areas that I don't want affected. And maybe if I want his wristbands to still be red, I can paint those out of the mask as well. So this is sort of a separate issue, but you want to be careful that you're only affecting the areas that you want to with your adjustment layer. So you can see here that I have made a big difference between the original, which is on the right, and the colorized version on the left. This would have taken a lot of manual painting to change. In fact, I can't even think of a faster way to do this in Photoshop or traditionally. But another reason this is so powerful is because it's interactive. If I open up the gradient itself, I can change the fall off between each of the colors. More than that, I can change the hue of an individual component of the gradation. So this sort of middle green that I've got if I wanted to change that to be much redder, I could do that. And I can watch it in real time update. So if that seems too harsh, maybe I'll pull some of the saturation out and make it blend in nicely. Okay. I can also adjust their relative placement to change the way that the color rolls from highlight to shadow. And in doing this, I can make major changes quickly and they're also non-destructive. So I could hit cancel and none of that would stay. Or I could simply change the entire gradation and try out different options completely. So you can see that this has a lot of power. And honestly, it's not even just for skin tone. Selectively using the gradient map feature can allow you to try out different options. Anytime where something has one color in the highlight and another color in the shadow, is a great opportunity to try the gradient map. I gotta warn you though, this is not gonna be a final illustration. At this point, I'd still want to paint over top of this to really integrate it back into the work because ultimately this is a filter. It is totally mechanical. And you're gonna wanna give it a bit of your own hand, add in a little bit of life back to it. But to get you 90% of the way there, the gradient map is awesome. So try pulling out some of your old artwork and changing the skin tone on something. Try to either match another painting or to match something from a movie. 
you're going to learn a lot just by pushing those sliders around. Thanks for coming to Control Paint, guys.